What is up, fellow gamers? God, that's the cringiest thing I've ever done. But you know what? First take, we're gonna roll with it. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Yet again, you guys killed it on the likes from the last video and just the views overall were surprisingly up there in comparison to some other stuff. So once again, we're gonna continue on the journey, the magical, terrifying journey that is building a PC. So let's go ahead and check our emails here. It looks like we have a whole lot of diagnosing and repairing stuff. Super boring. You know what? I'm not even gonna look at them. I'm just gonna close the email. We're gonna shut off the lights. We're gonna start a new day and hopefully tomorrow we actually have some good jobs that we can try to accomplish. All right, a new day. Let's go to work. Crank up these lights again. I did hear some ding ding dings from our email. So let's see if we have some new stuff here. You won't believe or I don't care. I don't buy used parts anyways. Fix, need fix. Huh, hey, <laughs> what's up? Oh, this is Jameson. Um, that's a dude. All right, we're gonna, yep, keep going. Fix, upgrade, upgrade, oh God. You know what? Is it really too much to ask for just to get some jobs that are like, hey man, can you just build me a PC? Those are the jobs I really like. You get to be a lot more creative, do stuff you don't normally get to do. I don't wanna do all this diagnostic work. All right, well, since we are still under the employment of Tim's Red Hot, repairs it's in the name i suppose we should probably do some repair jobs we'll probably stick with i don't know three for this episode i'm gonna try to choose the ones that are the most interesting i guess or perhaps the ones that have uh, the highest budget so we have 200 dollars there a thousand there revelant pentagon at pentagontools.info they say hi it's time for me to upgrade my pc i saw a pc build god how many times can you say pc saw a pc build online that benchmarked 4926 can you hit that i need 16 gigs of ram uh can you do it by tomorrow i mean yeah i was on pc bay the other day and i saw some awesome plastic red cables my kid's been using it and i'm getting some weird pop-ups from s field all right, I'm down. Upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, what are they rocking right now? Four gigs, 2800. They have a Fortune X, 320M Fortune X. So let's open up our shop right here. Max RAM speed, 3700 megahertz. Now I'm not really that sure if it's RAM speed for the CPU or if it's talking about RAM speed for your memory. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to assume that that is the max RAM speed that would be put out to your your memory sticks, whatever. So at 3700, that gives us quite a lot of wiggle room here. Our max frequency right now is still 36. We're gonna buy him two of these, two eight gigs. That'll be uh, 16 in total by tomorrow. But he also wants a 3D Mark score of 4926. His current Benchmark is 44.59, so we probably don't have to upgrade all that much. He's using the GTX 980 Ti, not a bad graphics card. Six gigs of VRAM, so really I'm thinking if we just upgrade his CPU, we should probably be able to hit that benchmark that he's after. So he has a Ryzen 5 quad-core 1400. We've only spent $300 thus far. Yeah, around 300 bucks. Okay, CPU processors. We'll sort this by the AMD, or I'm sorry, the AM4 socket type. Price descending. Let's get him a Ryzen 7 1800X. Add that puppy to the cart. Boom. All right, we should be good then. I'm thinking we'll be able to hit that benchmark score that he's after with those parts. So we'll just go ahead and accept his job. Moving on, budget of 700, 900. We have Jameson, dude. Why do you why do you do this? Why do you do this? Also, nobody emails this way. Editor in chief of Jameson on the red carpet. Not very professional, Jameson, especially when you start things out with Aya Babe. Hashtag blessed. No. No. Okay, I saw a $900 budget in here as well as a seven. I feel like we should probably do those two. This one's diagnose and fix. Uh, this one's just replace motherboard and replace graphics card. That's fairly easy. I hate doing the motherboard job just because it takes forever. 370 Gaming K7. 370 Gaming K7, add to cart. Next, 
replace graphics card. They have GTX 980 Gamer XL. All right, GTX 980 Gamer XL right here, 375. So those two parts should be all they need. Uh, let me double check. Can you repair something for me? A cable wouldn't fit and so I forced it. Now it's not working. Well, that was a dumb move. I think I clicked on something bad. No used parts, love, Rose. Got it, except we got you covered, Rose. Okay, and then that $700 job. Sometimes, also, hey, just has one E in it. That's beside the point. Sometimes they will tell us what they actually need in their email without even knowing it. I don't think this one does. Can you repair something for me? I'm sure someone like you can work out what's wrong. I'll be playing a game or whatever. <laughs> you know what the or whatever is. And then out of nowhere, the PC will re start. I really need this done quickly. It seems a bit dusty inside. I look forward to hearing from you, Helen. All right, Helen. First off, dust, not good. Keep that PC up off the ground. Second, I don't know what would be wrong with this. <laughs> So this is one of those ones we're actually going to have to bring into the shop, disassemble, try to find a broken component, and then buy that component, have it shipped to us probably next day. How many days you need this done in? There's no deadline. That's wonderful. We're going to take on Helen's job then as well. We will try to figure out what's going on there. I have no idea. Okay, so we're going to start by buying everything that's in our cart next day delivery, right? Because the other job, yeah, the other job needed to be done by tomorrow. So that's should work out just fine. Okie dokie. Go to our door, end the day off, and we will go right to work. Boys and girls, this is very exciting stuff here. Real riveting things happening. Relevant Pentagon. Our first job. Oh, thank God it doesn't have little screws on the case. Those are super, super annoying. All right, this was the one Upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. We also got him a new chipset, a new CPU, because his was kind of old. I mean, compared to what we bought him, he had a 1400. We bought him a 1800X, so that should do really well. Put that in. Now, I used to, I used to sell the old parts that we'd take out if they were in good condition. I'm now only going to sell the broken ones. We're going to keep this crappy one in case of an emergency and we have to use it for someone else. Hopefully they don't notice that it's used. Apply our thermal paste to the CPU and then we can put his cooler back on. It was the green one. Honestly, I couldn't remember. All right, next on the list, open up his memory slots here and we got him two eights, if I remember correctly. Now, someone in the previous video did leave me a comment and say that realistically slots two and four would be the most ideal as they're further away from your uh, CPU cooler. And while that is true for the most part, it kind of really just comes down to how large is your CPU cooler and how many case fans you actually have. Because comparing it from slots one and three to two and four, there's really not gonna be a whole lot of difference if you have enough airflow in the case. But if you only have a CPU cooler, I could see you needing to do slots two and four only. But for this one, since I'm, you know, I'm just a real genius, we're gonna use slots one and three. Now, I'm not going to try to pretend like I know everything there is about building a PC, having only built one in my entire life, but this game makes it pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple, to tell you the truth. Now, something I'm not going to forget this time is plugging in our CPU cooler. Look at that, boys. Now we're making moves. Now we're making money moves here. Okay, I'm really hoping that we can hit that benchmark score that this dude is after. Let's plug in our USB to the back and finish up all of our cables, get all of our peripherals. Such a weird word, plugged in. All right, we're golden. Let's boot this puppy up. We're gonna smash the delete key, open up the BIOS, and uh, just make sure that his RAM is overclocked. That looks good. Recently, we went over to Diddy's house. You guys know Diddy. I'm gonna use this as his boot device. Uh, recently, we went over to his house and his computer was very, very out of date. So I tried to update as much as I could. Um, unfortunately, I know his RAM is not the greatest, right? He doesn't even have like an XMP setting to overclock your memory at all. It just didn't exist. I went through every possible thing that I could and I didn't find anything. So while I was able to, to update his driver for his graphics card, everything else is pretty much still old as dirt. Not his fault, not his fault. It's just the way it is. Do another restart on this. 
Now in the last episode, I didn't really make a whole lot of money, so I'm determined this time to not mess up any jobs, not have to same day deliver something, and uh, with any luck, we'll actually be able to make some money this time around. We made, I think, a total of $100 or something for all the work we put in last time. It's time for a change. Let's uh, let this puppy run, see if we can't hit that 4926 benchmark, and we'll move on to the next one. This was the diagnostic one, so I'm gonna go with the fix because I, I'm pretty sure we got all the parts we need for this one. Again, no screw panels, or no panels with screws. <laughs> I love that. Okay, this was the one that she wanted her motherboard and her graphics card replaced. So let's get on with it. Move her air cooler. The reason why I hate doing these motherboard jobs is mainly because you have to remove literally every single component on the computer just to be able to get your motherboard out. That's the annoying part. But I do know a little cheat code for this. If you line up the screws just right, you can just leave your mouse in one spot held down and uh, you can get the screws out a lot more efficiently. So if any of you watching this are playing this game as well, highly recommend you do this as it uh, definitely speeds things along. There are tool upgrades that you can get as well that make it so it does it automatically, but they're very expensive. I think it's 10,000 smackaronis just to be able to do that. Yo, let's get his new, his or her, her new motherboard. Their new motherboard. It's 2020. Come on, guys. Okay, the deed is done. Also, this thing benchmarked a 117 before? That can't be right. Something else has gotta be messed up. What's her 650? That should be plenty. I don't know, we'll see. All right, and then graphics card was the 980 XL, so we're gonna sell the used one because it's broken. And we'll go ahead and install a new one for her. Open this puppy up. Let's get the... What did she have? 1700X. That's actually a really nice CPU. Pleasantly surprised with that, Rose. Our thermal paste applied. And Rose Nelson right here. CPU cooler. Good to go. Okay, what else are we missing? We need memory back in here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the first slot. I'm gonna go with the first slot. Don't judge me too much, okay? Yeah, 3600... I mean, this girl knows what she's doing. Aside from, obviously, her computer not working, it's got some really, really good hardware in it. All right, what else do we take out? Was that it? I think that was it, to be honest. Let's make sure she didn't... Oh, no, I hate when I do that. Let's make sure she didn't... Yes, we hit that benchmark. Need any different colored cables, anything like that. Let's get rid of these. Random... Now we get one. Now we get one. Please build me a PC. Well, hopefully, if you guys want another episode of this game, we can uh, maybe do some PC builds, which would be kind of fun. Nelson.Rose. Doesn't look like it. No new cables, nothing like that. She had white cables in it before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, and choose one of these. Let's go with the sleeve plastic white cables. If you guys are building a PC or you're wanting to build a PC, I would recommend not doing what I did when I first built mine. I completely forgot to wire in my power button to my motherboard. So I finished everything and I was like, why is it, why is it not turning on? And that was literally just the start of my issues. But uh, eventually, obviously, I mean, I'm, I'm doing some gameplay. Obviously, we got it figured out. Okay, and he is ready to go. 5122, so we knocked his benchmark goal out of the park. Let's see, it was this one here. Collect his monies. Four stars? Wh what? Not only did I finish it on time, but I stayed well below his budget. Oh, no, I removed the viruses. Okay, I guess he's just a dick then. That's fine. Spot the trends. The market app has just been launched in the shop. Not super interested in that. Appreciate it though. Really appreciate that. That's that's very nice of you. Rose's computer over here. I'm gonna have to plug in the USB drive again. And let's boot this puppy up. Again, smash delete. You know how we do. Gotta enter the BIOS, make sure everything is tip top. 36 megahertz for the RAM capacity. All right, we're good. She got a different boot device? Nope. Fly changes, restart. Now, we can start the teardown on this thingy. Oh my god, it's so dusty. And it has screws on the front panel. Unreal. Unreal. All right, Rose. Dead Stick Bush Flight Simulator. Dude, I want to play that game so bad. I don't, I don't even know why. I don't even know why. Diddy kind of turned me on to that one. And uh, it's still not out yet, but maybe someday they'll actually release the thing. Okay, and then let's do some virus scanning as well. You never know. 
Rose could be a real freak. All right, restart one mo again. So with these computers, it takes a long time. But you literally have to, can you hear me? You have to blow out all the dust. It's so loud. It's so loud. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, God, my ears are just ringing after that. First, we're gonna scan Rose's computer. Yep, told you. Rose a freak. Let's clean her up. All right, and then let's benchmark this sucker just because we're, we're good people. You know, that's what we do here. Diagnose and fix. Let's start by removing everything that's on the top. I didn't want to unplug that cable, but that's okay. We're going complete disassembly. Everything except for the motherboard. I should probably take out the power supply as well, but let's, let's first just check our inventory and see if we have any broken parts. So their i7 is still fine. Their CPU cooler is still okay. Their memory, their RAM is fine. Graphics card. There she is. So we have an RX 570 Gaming 8G. RX 570 Gaming something something. <laughs> RX 570 Gaming... Was it 8? Was it a Gaming X? Oh god. Oh no, it's this one. Inventory 1. That makes it easy. Add that to the cart and then let's do... Oh, let's do same day. Let's do same day on this one. We got 7,300 buckaroonies right now. Should be able to make our money back on this one. Especially, I mean, you never know. They may really appreciate us getting it done so quickly. You can just tell them, oh yeah, don't even worry about it. We had, we had all the parts in stock, you know? Which is a flat out lie, but they won't know that. They won't know. All right, CPU back in. Let's close the heat shield. Thermal paste it up and CPU cooler. And lastly, our brand new, is it the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Graphics card. We're going to get this plugged in. Thankfully, it's just a case of doing the cables and making sure we uh, put all the, all the case pieces back where they need to be. All right, 4433. That should be Perfect. By tomorrow, we did it a day early. Five stars, baby. The new motherboard is working well, and they did a great job. That's what I like to hear there, Rose. Bring your computer by any time. Love to help you out. All right, and then we just had Helen's left right here. I don't know how long this recording's been going on, but it's been going much more smoothly than the last one, and honestly, the one before that. So I figure maybe we maybe we have some time to do a custom PC build for someone, right? Be kind of fun. Oh no. Oh no. Why you no work? Oh no. <laughs> As I just said, you know, this has been going so well. So obviously her power supply is also broken because the thing won't even turn on. Yes, definitely broken. Fantastic. 650. We're going to have to continue with the 650. If I put the 550 in there, they're going to be like, they put bad, they put more worse -er parts in my computer. Be like, lady, I don't care, all right? I'm trying to run a business here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Make some sacrifices. Oh, we gotta do same day again. We gotta do same day delivery again. This is, this is how I lose all of my money. I just, I get so ahead of myself. I always jump the gun and I'm just like, no, I need it now. Why I shop on Amazon so much? I love that prime delivery, not a sponsor. <laughs> Dude, if it doesn't if it doesn't boot up after replacing the power supply, it's probably going to be the motherboard as well, in which case I'm literally handing this computer back to this lady. I'm going to say take it somewhere else. All right? Done. I've had enough. Diagnose and fix is in the green, so I think we did something right. Let's see if it'll boot. Smash the delete key. You know, we just do everyone a lot of favors around here. We always try to get that XMP setting turned up for them. Apply changes and restart. It's not going to do anything for this particular computer because her memory was already pretty low in terms of megahertz. Ooh, yes, I do have to put the USB drive in the back so we can get our programs on here. So let's do the virus scanner, of course, and we'll benchmark it just because we're a good person and that's that's what we do here. Restart again. Now, let's, since I think we're gonna have enough time, who knows, this may be a longer episode than the last, but I personally felt like the last one was just stupidly long. Uh, can you help me out with something? Build me a PC. I need a new rig. I have 
have. Why is that? Who says I have to be able to? We don't say that. We just say I have to. What is wrong with us? It's definitely have. Ugh. I'm gonna say it how I would say it. I have to be able to play sub-level zero redux. I don't even know what that is. In terms of time, can you finish it in nine days? Don't try to pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. I'm a total Intel fanboy. Great. We're building an Intel computer. Uh, you're not gonna do much gaming on that one, are you? No, actually, Intel's pretty good for, for gaming. It's more of a workhorse computer, I would say. You can do gaming as well as other stuff, whereas AMD is, is more focused on just giving you the best gaming experience overall and kind of putting all the video editing, all that stuff on the back burner. Well, that's not actually true though, because Nvidia is a thing. I take back what I said. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll do the benchmark on that one quick, but let's go ahead and accept this job right here for 2000 buckaroonies. Go to our whiteboard, grab our, our little build sticky note, and we can put that down on our desk over here. So first things first, we have to get a case. Now, I don't have a whole lot of cases unlocked. We're pretty low level still but we'll see what we can get let's sort it by ps no let's just sort it by full tower i want to i want a big old behemoth on this one Ow, but man that's gonna that's gonna eat up our budget we only have two grand to play with here which honestly is not that much i don't know we'll see we'll see what we can get done here we'll go with the corsair obsidian series 750d go to motherboards this one we're of course going to use intel because he suggested we do that so we'll choose the skylake motherboards what do we got here 28 3000 the x-tune not terrible god we don't have a whole lot of good product to use let's see what we got for cabbie lake before i make any rash decisions here 24 36 Ooh, girl Ooh, girl i do be liking that 3600 megahertz though a z270 what do i have i think mine's an aorus 470 so we're still we're still not quite there in terms of like being able to build my personal computer, but we'll go ahead and add that. 3600 doesn't sound like a bad thing. Okay, now for power supplies. This one, I'm just gonna sort it by ATX, and we're gonna sort it by price descending. We have the 750 right here. It's probably overkill. Let's just go with the, the 650. Oh, I have a broken one in my inventory still, don't I? Yeah, we'll go with this. We'll go with the 650. Why not? We're at $615 already. We have power, motherboard, case. That's it. So we, we gotta watch our spending here. Now moving on to CPUs. Of course he wanted the Intel stuff. So let's go Skylake. I, I realize we chose a Cabby Lake motherboard, but the Skylake socket does fit into Cabby Lake. They're kind of interchangeable. I don't know if it's that way in real life. I don't have Intel anything. But let's get the i7 6700 for uh, 250 smackaroonies. I've only ever dealt with AMD, so I'm, I'm not sure if if that's a thing or not. Water-cooled anything is awesome. We got a 120, 140, uh, 240, 280. Ooh, girl. Now we're talking. I think let's go with this one. Get that set up on the, on the front panel. That'll be kind of the intake cooler for the CPU. That might be kind of dope. Motherboard we've already covered. Let's go to 3600 megahertz. And we'll get two of these. That puts us at 1200 bucks. And we still have to choose a graphics card. Great. Do we have my graphics card in here? There's a 1070, it's not a TI. For 500 bucks, that's not terrible. Eight gigs of VRAM. I kind of like that, to be honest, but we might go with the GTX 1070 Mini. Got better stats. Let's do that, that seems cool. Zotac GeForce GTX 1070, that puts us up to $1,700. Now, I know we don't have any M.2s available to purchase, or at least I don't think so. So we're gonna have to just go with something that has the fastest transfer speed, 540. Let's just get them a 240 gigabyte SSD. Also taking into account the, the shipping and handling fees. So case fans, do we have my Corsair fans in here? Uh, not the exact ones, but we do have a couple of them. This is the only one that's RGB. It's a 120, so it'll fit pretty much anywhere. Let's do, I'm trying to think of how this case is configured. We have two large intake fans that are gonna cool the CPU. We probably have two, maybe three slots on the top for fans, and then we'll have one slot for an exhaust fan. So let's get three of these. That puts us right at $2,000. Again, taking into account this $30 shipping fee. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna same day it. I'm gonna same day it because I'm eager and I don't I don't want more emails come tomorrow. So let's let's just roll with this. All right, how we doing over here? 3782. They didn't even need a benchmark score, so that's perfect. Put that over there. Pop up the email again. Whose was that? Helen. Helen. Collect. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five stars. I had no idea what was wrong with my PC, but they fixed it and it came back in record time. There we go. Atta girl, Helen. All right, let's get this new case. Then I'm gonna move that uh, that sticky note. I don't wanna build on that side. I like building over here. Closer to the computer. Now we just have to take off the front panel, probably the back one too, if we want this to go quickly. Uh, you know what? We might be able to do everything from the front. That's kind of nice. So it does already come with some fans. I didn't know that, but that's okay. We're gonna remove these two. And ironically, they're the exact same fan that I bought, a 120 RGB fan. So that's always nice. I guess that's what I get for choosing a case I don't typically use for customer builds, but it's all good. Okay, now he's not gonna need this because we didn't get him a hard drive like that, a HDD or whatever, HHD. I'm, beats me, man, I use M.2. I think we're good, looking all right. First step, gonna be getting in our brand new motherboard. Oh my God, there's a lot of screws. Jesus Christ, and we have to do all of these twice. Okay, the deed is done. God, that thing looks dope, dude. That looks super dope. I was not expecting it to look that cool, I'm gonna be honest. And like, even the latch is chrome. Ooh. Tell that's a spansive boy right there. That's a real spansive boy. Get our CPU installed. Break out the thermal paste. All right, next, CPU cooling. The moment we've all been waiting for. Why you no work? Oh, can we remove that too? Oh, we can. Dude, amazing. All right, we could even put two fans on the bottom if we really needed to. I feel like that would probably suck up more dust than anything else, but... Again, what do I know? Okay, CPU cooler installed. It looks a little wonky, but it'll do. At least it'll keep that sucker nice and cold. Next, we got these two. I feel like we use these for everything. These two RAM slash memory sticks. We're gonna get those plugged in in slots one and three. Next on the list are Zotac GeForce GTX 1070 Mini. Nobody knows what it means, but it was expensive, so it must be good, right? Finally, got the right slots. Zotac. I've never even heard of that brand. And we have uh, EVGA for the motherboard. Again, never heard of it, but sounds cool. Now, I can put this down there, or this being the, the SSD, or I could put that mount back. I'm going to try to use that mount first. Yeah, there we go. Church it up a little bit, make it look uh, presentable. Or not. Or not. I can't, yeah, I can't mount it on the beauty panel. So so we're just gonna go ahead and remove that and put down this right there. I, I don't know what that's plugging into. Oh, the beauty panel covers it. Genius. Why didn't I think of that? No, it doesn't, I guess. Okay, I yeah, I, I don't know anything. I'm sorry. Next, we got our power supply. I'm gonna keep that one. We'll sell this broken one and install the six. Hitty. Hopefully that's gonna be enough sauce to get this thing moving. I chose some pretty decent parts, so I'm not really sure about the wattage. Let's, uh, let's try to install these 120s up along the top here. That might look pretty freaking sick. I really love how we had a time limit of completion in nine days, and I just really jumped the gun and, and have it, had it delivered the same day. We got that Amazon Prime delivery. All right, that does look pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. They're a little small, but it's okay. We got a 140 at the back right there. Got three 120s. I think these were two 140s, if I remember correctly. Last thing, I guess, is just cables, and we should be ready to rock. He did not say he wanted a specific color cable, right? He or she, I don't, I don't remember if it was. Durrett would all. I'm assuming, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna assume anything. I'm not, I'm not gonna assume anything. It's 2020. USB flash drive going in the back here. Let's get our cables rolling here. Since we went with the blue uh, power supply, I'm gonna go with blue cables, just because I think it's gonna look kind of neat. Yeah, definitely a good choice there. That does look pretty freaking sick. And then we're gonna have a bunch of RGB stuff in there as well. Very, very exciting things happening. Come in Tim's Red Hot Repairs. Get yourself a brand new gaming PC built by a true professional. <laughs> Not. That's a joke. It's a joke. Relax. Okay, get that front panel put back on. We never did remove the back panel. Let's get her powered up, baby. We're gonna smash delete. EVGA. I'm gonna have to look that brand up. I'm not familiar, but that's beside the point. There we go. 3600 megahertz. I'm not gonna overclock the CPU because I don't want to damage it. 
apply changes and restart. This thing should be just a freaking unit, just a freaking tank. I'm actually kind of curious to see what we get for a, a benchmark score on this one. All right, no need for a virus scanner. I am going to put the lighting software in here just because we had a couple of those RGB fans and then we'll download 3D Mark. Dude, the applications are downloading like so quick. All right, we're back, baby. Let's hop into lights here, see what we can do. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the rainbow. I like the rainbow stuff. I think it looks cool when it, you know, transfers from one color to the next. Don't judge me. It looks cool. You can't tell me that doesn't look cool. Oh, that's not RGB. It looks pretty dope. It looks pretty dope. Moving on. Gotta do this benchmark. I'm not gonna watch the benchmark. There's really no point. The FPS is far worse already than a lot of the AMD chipset computers that I've worked on slash built in the game. It'll be interesting to see what we get for an overall benchmark score, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove my USB. And now we wait. Oh baby, the results are in. We got a 5426. I don't even think they requested a benchmark. Honestly, I didn't even remember that they suggested they wanted to be able to play sub-level zero Redux. Again, no idea what that is at the recommended spec. I was just kind of hoping I was choosing good enough things, but it looks like it, it uh, kind of all worked out in the end. So that is very sick. Go ahead and move this over into the delivery area. Let's collect our freaking Fuck, dude. $8,900 is what we're finishing off today's episode with. That is pretty good. Bongle review. I really love this new PC. Good deal, D. Woodall from the UK. Thanks for uh, coming all the way to the US to have your PC built. Or I guess shipping all the way to the US. Very sick. But I am going to wind things down here. Now, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace. Oh, God. Do I redo that? What do I do? I think I have to. But I am going to wind things down here. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.